Yo, what it do, man? This is Grindface and the Therapist, man. I'm Demetrius. I'm Sonia. And we've been together for 28 years, married for 22 or 23, but who's counting, man? This is episode 16, and we're going to get on talking about being around healthy people, man. What do that mean, healthy people, Sonia? Because, shit, I'm healthy. I feel good. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm ready to move around and... Run, run a mile, what, run a marathon? You, you ready know to saying? run a mile? I'm running a marathon. You probably can. So um, what what do you mean by being around healthy people? Non-toxic people. Um, I think it's good to have healthy people in your circle. Like, um, I think it's good to, especially when you're in relationships, to surround yourself with other healthy couples. Like, we travel with the other healthy couple. We're, well, our, our circle's pretty healthy, would you say? No, yeah, like our, our core circle. Yeah, circle. We, I'm not talking about the extended. Our core yeah. circle. Yeah, we don't deal with that many. It's people. pretty. And even with the toxic people, I mean, you really don't want to be around them because that's just bring negative energy and vibes and all these. He say, she say, who? All that shit is not know? even the he say, she say. The more the of energy, like, for example, that, let's say you going through something in your marriage, right? Instead of having the guy like, oh yeah, let's 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 go mess with these females. Let's go. It's like, oh no, nah, like. Don't do that. You're going to give them some good information on the help is marriage instead of the more toxic shit to break the marriage. You know what I'm saying? Right. That's what I'm saying. Having people around that's going to basically pour into you and not help you, you know, um, mess up your marriage. I believe. But we ain't even just say marriage. We could say anything, relationship. Anything. It don't even have to be relationship. It could be your well being. Like, like you got shit. that. You got that friend. It's like. Hey, let's let's go hit it. Let's go let's hit the hit slick. Lick. Yeah, you know. What versus saying? the friend, like, oh no, man, let's like, let's business, figure out, let's figure out a way plan. where we could basically be on top and get the bread without doing something illegal. Yes, just yes. a healthy mindset. It don't even have to be in relationships. Just having people around you that's gonna be like, hey, nah, like, you need to reconsider that thought before it becomes an action. And, and don't have them yes mans around you. You know what I'm saying? Those is very dangerous to your health. Not even, not just necessarily, well, that's true too. Yes, men, but also <clears throat> not having people around you that have a, that have a mindset where they don't have anything to live for. To lose. Yes. Like they can have kids. Okay. Somebody can have kids, but the way you are with your kids, they may be absent or they may not look at that. Their kids as a priority priority. You need to look at that. Like. They ain't really putting their kids as a priority, so they don't really care if they're here for their kids or not. Yes, and the thing is, it's not wrong, but it should be. You know What's what I'm saying? Not wrong? It, it's not if they if they deadbeat. I mean, it's not wrong, but it shit. is wrong. What you mean? It ain't wrong to be a deadbeat. I mean, but, but I'm, if you let me damn finish what yeah, I'm saying, you it's clean like that up. if you a deadbeat, it's not wrong, but hang around other deadbeats and y'all could y'all could do y'all deadbeat shit together over there. But when you try to influence your deadbeatness to somebody else. And, and, and tell them, oh, man, you a sucker for feeding your kids type shit. You know what I'm saying? It's, I don't think they would say specifically you a sucker. I think it would be like. But, you know, they be they would try they, to influence you like, oh, man, why are you going to your child's assembly? That's Nah, you know, that, okay. Like that, that. Nah, you they ain't going to say anything like that. Well, that's I'm reaching, just, but you yeah, know what I'm saying? It just, is what it is. We got to put it in, in real perspective, like real scenarios. So I don't think they would say don't don't feed your kids. It would just be more like instead of spending time with your kids, it's like, Hey, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go talk to these females or let's go to the mar. Let, they're going to try to take you away from your kids. Well, well, what I'm saying, not feeding your kids. Cause let me break it down. Be more clear. I got $10. You know what I'm saying? My kids is hungry and the homies telling me, man, let's go get a sack. Then, you know, I, I need to feed my kids. So it's like he's going to try to influence you what's going to benefit them, but not like, dude, you need to go feed your kids. Or, we ain't, you know, ain't going to smoke today. Go feed your kids. You know what I'm saying? Little, that's what I'm saying. Don't feed you your kids. If you said smoke or feed your kids, that's But like, it's the mindset. It's, yeah, it's the mindset. Some of these women pick some sorry oof. baby daddies. I ain't going to lie. It's a cold game. I don't game. even want to say it. Like, it, <laughs> yeah, gonna, am I going to smoke or feed my kids? Oof. Nigga, yeah, let's smoke, my nigga. Let's yeah. go get high. I don't, I don't know. Yeah. That's kind of like, ooh, I don't even want to touch on that. No, I'm saying like, um, for example, like, and we've been around people like this. Like, they always want to have fun. Like, I like to have fun too. But like, we'll do like a couples trip, an adult trip. But at some point, it's like, nah, I got to take my kids somewhere. Like, 
I got to go take my kids on vacation. I can't just be vacationing all the time. I got to, you know, I got to, you know, spread the wealth. I got to make sure my kids is experiencing this lifestyle too. And that's what I'm saying. Like, oh no, let's, let's just do an adult trip or let's just do a girl's trip. It's like, eh, at what point are you going to include your mate or include your kids? It could be just things as simple as that. Yes, I, I agree. Cause you know what I'm saying? The family core is a strong core. And if you always want to turn up with your homies and shit, Where's the family come in at? And, and people don't, because at the end of the day, when you die, only people really going to give a fuck is your, your I ain't going to say they ain't going to, I'm not going to say they ain't going to give a F. I'm going to say they don't give a fuck. I'm not going to say the day, they're not going to give gonna a forget F. About it but I'm saying months. the people that's going to feel it the most is your household. Because, yeah, your homeboy, he going to be hurt, but he's going to get another homeboy. Your kids can't get another dad. Exactly. You know, your spouse can't get an. Well, they can get another mate. They can, and, <laughs> and, and be living off your life insurance <laughs> keys. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's a key for your ass. You want to make sure y'all shit. Yeah, your spouse can get another mate. Your spouse get another mate and living off your life insurance. How shit. would you feel if something happened? I got another mate. I, I wouldn't trip because shit. I know my. I, I I left the bar high as fuck, so it, it might be difficult you replace me because shit. I'm that nigga at the end of the day. You are that guy. You know I'm, I'm not saying replace, but like honestly, if something it's, it's happened, it's gonna to be me, a high bar. No, to come across of me. So it is gonna be a high bar. I I would definitely agree with that, but I would want you. I would want you to be happy for my kids. Yeah, that's my, my kids and I would want you to have somebody that's gonna make sure my kids is straight. Like they're gonna do what I would do for my kids. Yeah, I don't think that's possible. Why? Because that we already talked. Oh, about, okay. Let's about, not. Uh, let's that's not. Their go. parents and shit. Well, like, well, no I would never parents. be with somebody if you're not rocking with my kids. Like I'm rocking with my kids. It's not gonna work. Yeah. It's just not gonna work. And that's why I'm saying you might be single for the rest of your life. I might, because if you ain't got my kids, how I got my kids, it's yeah, this it's 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 a it's a hard no for me. Cause I don't even I don't know. That's just not me. I don't know. So yeah, it's no need to go back. Cause we had y'all go tune in one of these old podcasts that we talked about some step parents and shit and you know what I'm saying? That's that's a whole different other level. Just to entreat somebody kids like your own. But I would though. You know. I would. I have one hundred percent would. I won't, but it's your own. <laughs> so back to it, we got sidetracked to what we were saying, like healthy shit. people. So healthy, it's yeah, sounding like just, you ain't that healthy. Yeah, I got some flaws. I'm just saying some areas I'm in healthy shit. I ain't gonna lie. I'm still working on me. That's the thing. I'm a work in progress. You know what I'm saying? I ain't perfect. And yeah. if you say you perfect, motherfucker, you I'm lying. not perfect. I'm not perfect, but I do believe I'm healthy. Like this is my I'm healthy home. in some situations. No, you know what I'm saying? I, just, I could get petty on your ass real quick. You can. And see, pettiness is just not me. Like I always take the hard road, even when sometimes I'm mad at myself that I did. But my thing is, it life is simple. It, it, we just make it complicated. And I really believe in my slogan. Like, it's so simple. I believe in everything. If you just do to people what you want done to you, simple. So I'm just big on doing stuff. <laughs> To people that I would want done to me. And it just makes life easier. Even in marriage. Like, hey, if I know I wouldn't want that done to me, I'm not going to do it. And then even talking about the, the healthy people around. Because when I'm in, in my circle, uh, it, it, our conversation is about making money, it's having different. fun. It's not... It's not like pointless conversation. And y'all don't be talking about thing. females when y'all get along. No, that's this is pointless. Yeah, and I can honestly say that. No, <laughs> we don't. It's like shit. That's not even the point of the conversation. Maybe we're just talking about having fun. What we gonna do? How to make more money? You know what I'm saying? And this, and this, it's you could walk away feeling like you was fed. You know what I'm saying? And sometimes I'll be around certain people. I just walk away of like, damn, I just wasted two hours. You know what I'm saying? It, like and it's before. like and it's it's draining. It's like you have nothing to talk about. You're not you're not inspiring to do nothing. You're not it's like I'm just sitting here patiently waiting to take my ass home because I'm I'm being the team player with my wife and shit. You know what I'm saying? Wait, like, wait, God wait, damn. wait, wait, wait. Nah. <laughs> you know you're not gonna saying? do that to me. So you, it, Hold it on. Like, you're not gonna I ain't never had you in a situation to where you basically was bored to uh, yes okay so it's no. like sometimes just be patient I, I, I play no those are situations hold on day, back pause, in the day pause, I could go around pause. I could smoke and drink and, and just 
um, waste time. Those are situations where we're at an event and I'm supporting someone. So you're not necessarily talking to but their mate. You're talking to somebody I, in the room that is... I'm still is, patiently waiting. But what I'm saying is because all my friends are healthy and are in healthy... Re if they got a mate, and they it, made is healthy too. So you... No, it could have been an event where you were just in a I, room with people. I haven't met your friend's spouses soon. No, you haven't. It's okay then. Yes, you have. So okay then. Wait, so, wait, wait. Um, no, no, no. Yes, you have. Who is Bob's friend? You um, met Kiona's husband? Kiona's husband. You met Lainey's husband? Okay, now she's trying to pull yeah, cards. And stop shit. lying, yeah. Okay. And let me think, because I gotta think. Okay, but like I was You've saying, met my I was in some husband. certain situations back in my younger days. I could I, I feel like I'm at a point in my age, I can't be wasting time. And just me sitting around and just wasting time and just drinking and talking about nothing when I could be productive is, and, and that's how I looked at it. I could be productive this hour. I'm just, I'm wasting time and I don't want to waste time no more. You know what I'm saying? Because I wasted a lot of my twenties and I feel like I shouldn't be wasting time in certain situations and certain events. I'm not about to waste my time no more. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, no, I'm not. So if you feel like I didn't show up, it's it's cause shit. But the, this is, is a fun fact. Is. This is this is a funny fact. When I would tell him that when we were in our twenties, the people he was around, and I felt like it was a waste of my time. Yeah, I told her she was acting bougie and shit. Shut he up. told me I was acting bougie and I was being judgmental when I was saying this in my twenties. Man, I wasn't there yet. I was kicking it. So, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, all they doing is getting high and smoking and we not talking about nothing. It's the same conversation yeah, so every time. And he like, oh, you're late, being judgmental. I'm a you're late bloomer. I'm a judging. late bloomer. It's okay. They say guys is late bloomers. You're just judging them. I will never forget that because I used to be so <laughs> pissed off. Like, look, dude. And he'd be like, you, you acting like you better than them. It's like, no, I just don't have anything in common with these people. I love them, but... It's not feeding me. He could not get it. He just thought I was so bougie. I was so judgmental. I thought I was better than them. And I'm like, no, that's not what I'm saying. I'm going to always love them. But I have reached a, a, a not a level, because I don't want to say different levels, but I have reached a different hunger. Yeah, that I'm, this I'm is wanna... just not feeding me anymore. Yes. Like, I feel like I'm on autopilot. Like, the conversation is not thought provoking. It's not doing, and he just did not get it. And that was like a huge issue with me and him at that time because I'm like you don't get it and if y'all don't understand think about it think about going somewhere spending two to three hours there and leaving with nothing you know what I'm saying now you would think like no fun no, nothing yeah no, no it yeah, wasn't even yeah, fun yeah, to me it, anymore yeah so it's like imagine and you will feel like damn I just wasted three hours so you know what I'm saying? When you go Can out, I get an apology though? Go out. I apologize for you thinking you was bougie. I mean <laughs> shit. I I wasn't there yet. I mean shit. I was my inter entertainment fun was getting high and smoking and talking about nothing. You know what I'm saying? I was at a different level in my life. And now that I'm matured and at a different place, I don't got time to waste. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to be around people that's trying to get to the next level, trying to climb and just not What's to say the next level. Not to say the next level. The, 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 just the point of where people enjoying life and trying to find other ways to enjoy life. Because it's not it's not about money. It's about enjoying. You know what I'm saying? Because we could be at places and people do places and just have no enjoyment there. They just there just to show face. And um, my thing is one of my worst events to have to go to. Yeah, just the show face. It's like, um, while I'm here, I don't even know why I'm here. You're watching your watch. Like, damn, I'm so ready to go. It's like, I want to be in places where I'm enjoying life, making money, or, or feeding my soul. Not, you know what I'm saying? Feeding my mind. It's just, those is the type of environments I want to be around. And just, you know what I'm saying? I could smoke and drink here too or there. You know what I'm saying? But. I want to be fed when I go home. I'm gonna be like, damn. Let me let me put this in motion. We was talking about this. Let me grab. Let me put this in motion. This certain people is gonna feed you. Certain people they they gonna drain you. They gonna suck from you. What do you you know what I'm saying? Let's talk about people that suck from you. Just I don't like, let people <laughs> suck all of it from, and they don't want to pour back. That's crazy. It's like people will call and and just suck and just suck and suck, and then. Don't pour back. And don't pour back into anybody. 
You know what I'm saying? I, I really call them they don't they know vultures. how to. Yeah, it's just like they take away from everybody, but don't pour back into nobody. And that's sad. You know what I'm saying? I, me. Do you have people like that? Or did you ever have people like that around you? I have people like that around me. Just want to suck all these take, 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 um, and don't pour it back. But um, me, I'm a type of person. I'm going to pour into everybody. If no, you, you don't. No, you me, don't. Yes, I, you going to tell me I'm If they in your inner circle. If they in my inner circle, that means I fuck with them. I'm but you said everybody. See, I, you, say, you saying I don't pour into strangers? You will. Okay, but what then I'm that's what is, I'm saying. Because I could a lot of strangers out here that's not in my inner circle no, could tell you but, I poured into them. No, okay. And let I'm talking about in, knowledge, me, information. Misspoke. Like, but I'm saying, well, I guess. Yeah, I pour into people. You know what I'm saying? And it's not. I'm not. I'm not pouring into for something in return. I'm just. That's just me. I'm gonna pour into my type. But I'm gonna pour into somebody that wants it. Now I could tell if you don't want it, and you're just talking out your ass. You know what I'm saying? I'm not gonna keep pouring. You do, but I was saying sometimes like you'll have your guard up with people. Well, that's a different situation having your guard up from, with people. You know what I'm saying? Because people are vultures. You know, at the end of the day. But go ahead, let's let's go. We was talking about what healthy people, healthy people. And see, and, and I, after y'all sending me hearing me rumble, y'all can see some parts where I ain't healthy. Shit, I admit which that. part? I ain't healthy. I got a shield. I got a wall up on certain things. I don't let people in close. But see, I don't think nothing's wrong with that shit. Yeah, I don't think that's unhealthy. I just think it becomes unhealthy as when you think everybody's suspect. I don't think everybody, yeah. I don't think everybody's suspect. But the people I do think is suspect is suspect. But I don't be around people that I question. Well, you know you, well, you don't be around people that you question. But sometimes, and um, I tell you this, and I don't know what you feel about this because you always get quiet when I say this, but... Sometimes we're around settings where people we trust, but then they have other people in their settings that we necessarily don't know. And now I don't put, I have my guard up. No, you don't. Yes, I do. How are you going to tell me what I, what I have? That's what, you know what I'm saying? How are you going to tell me what I have? I'm going to say this. If we're. But because the only thing you can say, if I get drunk. And that's just what I was about to say. Like so if shit, you're tipsy, if, your, your guard is not up. If I'm tipsy, my guard is up because I got key players around me that I know that got my situation at their best fullest. True. So that's so if you just ain't going to catch me tipsy when I don't have at least three strong people around me that's got my best interest in hand. But it's Never. still but it's still exposing Never. yourself. It, to it might be you exposing myself, but at the at the same time, it, I'm not getting caught. Like like yeah. So it's, it's different elements that I, I played in the factor. You just see it one way, but trust me, it's covered. Mm, okay. Put some mic something on. I keep swallowing. But what you get quiet? Go on. I mean, I, you were talking. I didn't want to interrupt you. I did. I ended. I said it was covered. Mic drop. Boom. Mm, you like the little Look, boy at the talent uh, show Mike, last night? It's covered. Now moving on. Moving on, I just think it's important to, you know, manifest a healthy core, a healthy circle. You know, my my circle is very inspiring, very motivating, um, very supportive. You know, I could drop a ripped up T-shirt. They're going to buy it. <laughs> They're going to support it. They're going to, you know be happy for me. And those are the people that I like to have around me. I don't give everybody access to me. Even if you bring someone around, you, like, you know, how sometimes, like I was just saying, like you sometimes vouch. people vouch for people. No, that's not what I'm going to say. How we're around people that they may bring uh, some other people around. Cause we may be at their house or their event. And that's I've never thing. been like this. Person. No, I've never been like this. Like people, will meet someone and then they'll start following them on social media. That's just not my personality. Um, so if you follow me, I'm probably not going to follow you back because just because I see you in the midst of someone that I know, I'm not necessarily just going to give you, I mean, social media is not private, obviously, because my page is public, but I'm just not going to give you access to me like that. Just because we're in the same setting with a mutual person we know. I think that's where people go wrong. Okay. 
<laughs> you should wait for my reply. But you're not a social media person. No. But even... I, why do you keep saying I'm not a social media person? Because you're not. Meaning? Meaning your your world don't revolve a, a social media. It doesn't. But I but I like that because okay, like people probably were thinking even you know we were in Egypt, I was posting every day. But when I'm home, I'm I'm like, social media is cool, but social media doesn't put money in my account. It put money in your account. Uh, so I'm handling business with my business with my company. Get in the bag and and. So my focus is real life money. You know what I'm saying? I'm not on social Nigga, media. My money is real life money. <laughs> no, about? that's not what I'm saying. Real life money. I didn't what know I'm saying getting... is people's <laughs> lives consist of social media, but it's no money in Agreed. the consumer. They're just on social media Agreed. posing. They're living a life that they're not. So for me, I'm not on social media being a poser. Like I'm really living for real life. Like, Last night we were out, we're having a good time. You, I don't need to post what I'm doing last night because I'm in the moment. I'm really having a good time. And so I'm living life. I'm not really focused on, I was thinking about that this morning too. This is probably off, you know, off the, uh, the topic of the conversation, but I'm like, I was thinking about that this morning. Cause I was thinking like, dang, like, I used to be really on my videos and doing all that. And then I'm like, you know, is there something wrong with that? Because I'm really living real life. So I'm not really focused on, I got to post every day. Like I just posted on Facebook. Cause I'm it's, like, it's, it's not about posting. I, I take it. It's, it's, well, some people do it. A post is look at me, look at me, look at me, looking. I'm cute. Look at me. I'm cute with my outfit on. But sometimes as an um, element, you could be inspiring and reach so much more people to motivate and inspire them. And see, that's an element a lot of people don't but I, target to do because a lot of people want to be self-gratification, like, look at me, I'm cute type shit. But look. But it's, you you got the power to actually inspire and motivate a lot of people, which you, it's the other two that you can utilize. But if that's not my focus for today, yeah, I mean, it's I'm not wrong doing it. it. I'm not going to afford I'm not going to... I'm not going to force something no way saying to force that it, I'm not I'm just feeling. Like if I'm feeling it, oh, I'm going to get up, I'm going to do a video and I'm going to talk about what I want to talk about. But if I'm not feeling it, if I'm not, I don't know. I like social media to the point that you can reach a bigger audience. I do like that. But I think it's seasons for everything and there. I'm, I'm just not in the seasons. And I just don't like to be on. I'm definitely not going to watch you, people on social media. But you don't media. have to explain it. It's okay, sweetie. You're not a social media person. We got that. It's fine. It's okay. I just hate when you, you know say saying? that though. But I guess I it's can't get mad right. because it's, it's true. I'm not. Like I'm not really a social media person. I'm yeah, not. it's okay. It's nothing bad. I mean, shit. You cool? <laughs> Relax. <laughs> <laughs> Because you always be like, you're not a social media because person. It's not. like, what does Shit. that mean? No, like, you come because at the end of the day, compare your social media to my social media. No, because I don't compare myself. But at the end of the day, I'm in competition with me. I'm a social media person because I'm, I'm a content creator, which I make money off my social media. I get paid. This is my business, which as you don't get paid, but you're not on social media like that. So it's OK if that's not your lane. It's my lane. I handle that. You know what I'm saying? It's, you don't got to explain to people you're not a social media person, even though you're on your phone right now on social media. But um, I'm looking at my face like shit. Yeah, I, I guess I'm not. I so, guess I'm not but, but I'm saying it's people. different levels to even with social media because it's some people, it, it's what you use it for. You know what I'm saying? Some people could inspire others. Some people could make it look like, hey, look at me. My life is so wonderful. Look at me, look at me. And it's, it's it's a tool. I say I feel social like people media don't want inspiration though because when they I was don't. doing they inspirational don't. videos, but I mean, I had people. like a little buzz, but at the same time, it's like, mm, I don't know. But it's, it's the same thing. It's... It, it's a small, it's a small amount of people that want the positivity, want to be inspired, and those are the people you I'm just not gonna you say aim it's a for. Small amount, I don't you know. know. What I'm saying? My yeah. thing is this: I just want to do whatever God wants me to do, and I want to be on assignment. I don't like to just do stuff just for show, or I'm just doing something to do it. I'm intentional, so it's like, what am I doing this for? Is it a reason behind it? Like, and it don't have to be like, oh, I'm getting followers, and I don't care about that. I just want to know that I'm doing something. That's fulfilling for me that I know I'm supposed to And that's to be all doing. about bottom line comes down to. I just don't want to be like, oh, I'm just doing yeah. this because I'm doing this. No, like I want a reason why. 
My, my I'm reason doing why it. I'm out here, I'm trying to inspire and motivate people. You trying to make some money. I mean, <laughs> like, let's keep it a buck. I mean, that, that, that's part of the, you could, yeah, because if I wasn't making money, I wouldn't be on social media like that either. But you know what I'm saying? I'm getting a bag off it. But I do, but my, my main objective is do, I do want to inspire and motivate people and also give them the game that they can make money off social media also. And you know what's you know so what funny? But I used people to don't hate that listen. he was on social media. People don't want to listen. I hated it because I'm very, I used to hate him being on social media because I'm a very private person. And so I'm like, you, you bring in too much attention, dude. You bring in too much attention. So it used to, I used to hate it in the beginning. And that's why I got to surround myself with other content creators. <laughs> it irritates me when you say I'm not a content creator because you know I'm creative and you know I can create uh-huh. content. So stop uh-huh. playing. Stop playing. Because a lot of times you don't want to tell people your ideas, the good ones, come from me. I'll post something. I'll say something. And then you'll post it. So stop. 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 You talking about quotes? Whatever. Oh, okay. You you'll get it from me. So let's okay. not play. But um let's go back to cause you got sidetracked once again off of um How did I get sidetracked? Healthy, it's a podcast. Healthy, I can talk about whatever people. I want to. Now, healthy people it, well, if we you could even go, to social media. We could even go to um like fitness of healthy people. Like, you know what I'm saying? What do you mean? Like, you don't want to be around all your fat friends that always want to eat McDonald's and That's go so out to rude. eat. You know what I'm saying? That uh oh, let's let's go eat. Nah, let's go hit the gym. Let's go eat healthy. You know what I'm saying? Because even those people, that that could be very detrimental to your life. Detrimental. Of constantly fast food, fast food, fast food. When you got to a miss a circle, even the going out to drink, 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 drink. Let's go drink. Let's go drink. You know what I'm saying? But it's what like, do people go out? Like, typically, what do you meet up with? Pe- okay. What do you meet up to do? Like, typically, if I meet up with one of my girlfriends, we... we we're but you don't meet. have to obviously go to the restaurant and eat. That's just greedy. No, we'll go hiking. Yeah, exactly. We'll meet up to we'll, hike. We can do different activities. We'll meet up for meet brunch. Up. We'll meet up. To, but most of them are I probably going to want to go eat. But I don't. I I would love to go meet up. Um, and some of them that we do, we'll we'll meet up to hike. You know what I'm saying? We'll meet up to do different things like that. But I'm I'm the type of person too. I try to meet my friends where they are. So like Lore, like. I'm like, I'll go to her house. I'm like, hey, we could go to like something for it because she has little kids. I we could go take the kids somewhere and we could do something like that because to, I don't to the want, park and stuff like yeah. So I'll do stuff like that with her because she got like basically toddlers. I don't have toddlers, but I still will do things where and I think it's not a, to cut you off though. I think that's really a woman thing. What do you mean? Like to go eat at the restaurant. Because, you know, when guys meet up, he's like, man, let's go to the shooting range. Let's go fishing. Let's go to the bar or something like that. But the bar is the like, same thing as a restaurant. No, because you're not really sitting at a table, like, but face to face. What like, are you doing? You're sitting, you're sitting at, at a bar. You're sitting at a bar. You know, it's a different type of vibe and feel. It's like, it seems like women always go out to eat. You know what I'm saying? And that's why the probably United States women, majority <laughs> of them is big. You Whatever. know what I'm saying? I'm just saying you stats, big too statistics, before. statistics, you know what I'm saying? But think about it, though. You know what I'm saying? Because you ever have a, hey, let's go out. That's not true. It depends on a friend. Let's... It depends on a friend. Because, like, if I meet up with Tiffany, if I meet up with Danielle, it's certain people if I link up with, we're definitely doing something physical. I just think, because I like to be outdoors. I like to be... I like to do stuff. I don't like... I don't want to just come and sit at your house and sit on the couch. And that's probably why I don't go to people's house. I don't want to just go sit on, go to your house, sit on the couch and talk. Like I want to be out because yeah, I could do yeah. that at home. So it just depends on the friend that I link up with because some of my friends, we are going to go do out and do something. But then I got friends, they're not as adventurous and they do just want to go eat. So Our y'all, family members. Y'all check y'all, y'all people and see and, and try something different with y'all next time y'all connect with your friends. You know what I'm saying? So if y'all always going to a restaurant to go sit and eat and talk, try going to the um, where what's the other good substitution? Um, uh, hiking, a walk. You know what I'm saying? What's wrong with a walk and talking? Like I don't understand why. I do that. So, yeah, Sometimes yeah, try, we'll try, go. try, try something different. Get out the element of always trying to go to a restaurant. And, and I it. think it's for me. I, I because I don't know a lot of stuff to do. You know what I mean? Like 
You say you don't know Google? You Google everything else. I'm not a planner. You, you, look, you I'm put not a planner. Google, I'll show things up. to do. I'll Google show will up. pop up a I list. I don't, come on, you already know exactly. me. Exactly. I'm not a, I'm not a planner. And I don't know what it is about me. I just, it's, I don't know. It's just another thing to have to do. Like, show me the place. Even you get upset, like, oh, you always say, let's do the podcast. In the moment, he'd be like, set it up. See, it's a different story. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Because in my mind, that's like another task for me to do that I, if if you, okay, I'm going to show up. I'm going to do my job on the podcast. I'm going to show up and I'm going to do what I need to do. But basically, she's saying she don't like to work. I work every day. What you mean? Because basically with the podcast situation, she want me to set it up. She just want to come sit down, talk, and move on. I got to I gotta post. I got to set it up and set it up online. Post. I got to do all the work. She just want to come and talk. So when I asked her, just to get the mics and the thing out, <laughs> oh, no, nah, never mind. You don't I don't do say it. never mind. Yeah, you just you change the subject. You've been <laughs> on some other shit. You know what I'm saying? So that's why we've been lacking on the podcasts for like a month. But I feel like, hold on. She, she, she wouldn't have set the shit up. But I feel like you, okay. You should know your your main strengths and weaknesses. Even when I have speaking engagements, like he'll come, he'll he'll set up everything before I get there, and then I'll just come and speak and do my part. Like, and I don't think it's because I work my butt off. I wouldn't have the business that I I wouldn't have the things that I have if I didn't work. I have a strong work ethic, but certain things I don't like to do. Set up. I don't like to, I don't know why I just don't like to do it. It's not even set up. I just told her, bring the shit out. I don't like I'm to I'm going to do, do all the plugging up shit. I all, don't like to do it. Just bring it out from point A to point B. That's simple. I don't Because all I'm like asking is a it. little help. That's all I'm asking. I y'all. don't A little like help. Can I get a little help? I help God you all damn, the time. A little help with the podcast. I help him all the time. Huh? And he's you know not because he got he got he got weaknesses. I'm carrying that. It. It's like it's hard. I'm gotta set the podcast up. I gotta carry the show. You're so dramatic. I gotta do the post of the podcast. It's like damn. Okay. Okay. I'm, I'm that's I'm all the he does. Up and the talent on this motherfucker. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Okay. It's like, it's, okay. Gotta, do but this, do okay. Everything? But this is the thing. <laughs> and this is so. Let me let me put you in perspective because so I'm the mom and I'm the wife, right? I'm the dad and I'm the husband. No. <laughs> Shit, what's your point you're making? <laughs> so, we have three kids. I got three kids. <laughs> we have three kids, plus we have my daughter's boyfriend. They've been together since high school that we also treat as a kid. So, technically, we have four kids. I have a husband. He has a wife. We have businesses, right? But this is typically how it goes, Right. Is that slow shit again? No, because I, I want to put it in perspective. I have to cater to five people. So, so do I. No. But you don't though. Don't hate the hate. Don't hate the player. Hate the game. No. Shit. He, so do you, I. Okay. So do I. He's a father, hands I, down. I, I, I would never I cater I, to he, my, a different he, way. He's a father, hands down. I will give him that. But when something needs to get done, they're not going to call their dad. And they call me. Guys know what's best. They call me. So they he's not going to get the calls. He's not going to get. If they going through something, they're going to call me. Because I'm going to tell them the truth and get point straight to the point and the feelings going to get hurt. I'm going to have to be the one on call, show up, go talk to them. Hold on, but, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. And on top of that, we both have companies. He doesn't have staff. I have staff. So imagine being pulled by multiple people in different directions every day, all the time. So whatever I don't have to do, I don't want to do it. It simple. Like, it simply sound like you need to surround yourself with healthy people. No. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Basically, what I'm saying is you trying to make it seem Shit. like Shit. like I don't want to, but it's like I have a lot on my plate. And let's take out the business, even before the business. Like I'm going to the doctors. Of, hold on, hold on. And this killed me. I got to tell this story. I, I was so irritated because so my, my baby just had surgery, 
which he spends, I will give, he spends a lot of time with her one-on-one. He takes her to the, he does a lot with her. He does. So mom, I'm the one that's always going to the doctor's appointments, going to the schools, parent teachers. That's always been me. So it just so happened. She just had to have surgery. Right. And so I was like, okay, babe, I could rearrange my schedule so I could take her to the doctor. He like, don't worry about it. I got it. So he, how many doctor's appointments you take her to? Who's keeping track? A good dad don't keep track. He took her to two <laughs> doctor's appointments. Okay. He takes her to two doctor's appointments. I show up after she has this um, surgery to a doctor's appointment. The doctor's going to say, oh, mom's here. I was so <laughs> mad. Oh, like, I don't go to two doctor's appointments. And it's like the doctor's surprised that mom is at this doctor's appointment. This dude takes her to two doc. Like, I've always. So, I don't know. I ain't going to say mom's because everybody's household is different. But it's like, if Demetrius will be honest. I am the person that holds everybody together. No? No? Hold what together? Baby? The family. Our family. Yes, you you the bond. But at the same time, you don't know all my hustles I go through, my stress, because <laughs> I don't unload it on you. You said that earlier on the previous <laughs> podcast. You don't. But so what I'm you saying don't know is all the things I, I do. have to cater to everybody. Like, shit, I had to just take out the trash the other day. Oh, my God. Like, so, fuck. I have to cater to, I'm the glue when it comes to the family. So no, I don't like planning, but when it comes to our, our kids, because two of our kids live outside of the home, the baby's at home, but I hold everything together. So is it, it could be like, I mean, I love my kids, but it's days I'm like, I don't really feel like hearing it, no, but I have to as a parent. saying all this because I asked her to take the mics from one room to the other room. <laughs> <laughs> really <laughs> really Hold you on, move a mic from one room to the <laughs> other room it up my, no because she's breaking out all the shit she had to do because she don't want to move a mic it's a task <laughs> that i because this is my thing he knows i don't like to set up even for my own speaking engagements he sets up and does everything and i just show up i don't want to do it i don't know it's a mental thing but i don't want to do it Simple. And if you know I don't want to do it, and okay, like for the doctors and stuff, I never was like, oh, Demetrius, go to the, the parent ki- uh the parent teacher. I never told because yes, I, you do, and you just know damn well I ain't going. So I don't ask you. <laughs> and I never asked you. So I would do it. I know you're not gonna volunteer in the kids' classroom. I know you're not gonna do it. So I'll do it. I know it's certain stuff that you're not gonna do. So it irritates me because you say you asked me to set it up like a test, like Oh, you, and, and, <laughs> and it irritates And you fail I don't every care. Time. Exactly. And it irritates That's me. That's why the podcast missed a month because she's been failing the test. Because the it's time, a y'all. test. And it annoys she, me she, because she, it's stuff. If I know, I know certain stuff he doesn't like to do, like washing people. clothes. I'm not going to even ask you to do it because I know. I wash clothes. You just don't like how I wash clothes. It's sir, Okay. Before we got a housekeeper, Demetrius didn't clean up in probably over 10 years. Till my baby was I like. Straight enough. Huh? So my baby was like, mom, he doesn't, he doesn't clean or do anything. Like, so it's things that I know he doesn't like to do. I know. And I don't ask him to do. I just do it. So it irritates me when he puts these little tests on, like, I'll be like, oh, babe, let's do a podcast. And he'll say something like, oh, get the stuff out. Like, you know, I don't want to get the stuff out. So it's like, why are you even saying that? Just do it. Because this stuff I've done for years from day one of marriage that you don't do and I just do it. So it's like, if you know I don't like doing it, just do it. It would be so simple, huh? Yes. I just feel like he likes to be a rebel. That's that bully mentality she got. I don't have a bully mentality. You think I I got a, I'm a bully? So we went out a whole month without doing the podcast because she didn't want to grab a mic from one. No, because he was trying to test me and I don't like that. (laughs) I don't like <laughs> so, so he just, likes to go and be a uh, rebel like oh man just That's crazy. N- no because you're you're testing me I'm and not you, testing I was you just are. I was just looking for a little help baby no just you wasn't no you wasn't no help. you wasn't you was just basically little. trying to test me like oh you're just not gonna do I'd be like oh to me do the podcast and every let's do the podcast I gotta I got something I want to talk about because at the end of the day babe the talent don't have to do everything 
It's like, damn, I'm carrying this podcast. <laughs> I'm the talent. I got to do everything. Like, shit. You got jokes. You got jokes. Put some. You got jokes. Put, put and that's what I mean. My oh, life shit. is real offline. Oh, like, shit. it's a lot of stuff I do offline and I don't want, like, so posting, I so don't want to do it. She's, look, this is the, the point. Like, let's say this is the podcast. We're going to talk to podcast. I'm the Beyonce of podcasts. <laughs> okay. So she, she want me to set up and do. I'm He's the, the Beyonce, Beyonce of podcasts. I let the viewers. Uh, uh, I let the. <laughs> <laughs> I let the viewers uh, give a, us our their I'm, opinion on that. Because nah, the Beyonce you know, of podcasts. No. I carry this shit. Without no. <laughs> me, it wouldn't be a podcast. And this is so. How point. do I have my own can podcast? I, can then? I get a little so help? Then how, how do I have my own? Because can I get a little po- help? It's like when it comes to speaking. I'll Damn. Ki- it's like, I got to do everything. He's not a speaker. I'm the speaker. So I want to know how you carry the podcast. Because I could, I could talk this whole thing by myself. You cannot. You so how do that. you... We seen Talk with Samia. Y'all go look at the numbers. <laughs> 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 no, because, okay. She could carry the podcast and talk forever, but um, nobody want to hear it. Y'all hear, y'all no, hear from me. No, you know, no. Viewers, y'all hear from me. Leave a no, comment okay. saying who y'all hear for. Y'all hear from me. Let me no. Y'all hear for the therapy. Because... Yeah, please let us know. So, <laughs> working with him, I got to get somebody that's going to do the video and stuff because Demetrius is a bully. And basically, when I don't like visuals and I don't like certain stuff. If I want to spend my time doing something, it's going to get posted. So, I'm going to hire somebody and they're going to do what I want them to do and not what they want to do. Exactly. It's my show. So, it, this it's is my thing. time. She, she, she don't understand how valuable my time. I was just talking about that earlier, me wasting my time. She wants to do a whole production and then everything's done. And then it's, oh, my hair wasn't switched to that side. <laughs> no, no. I don't want that to be aired. Like, hold no. on, I'm going to spend two hours no, doing this shit. No, Like, nah, this no, is getting posted. No. Like, Demetrius shit. is quantity. He's not quality. Exactly. He doesn't Exactly, because she don't understand how the internet he works. He doesn't I do. care. And so for me... It's like if this is my show and I want certain elements on my show. And the thing is, she that's how I gotta under, pay somebody. She don't understand. It's like let's let's go to the Wendy show. She don't understand. Wendy is just the talent. I'm the production. You just the talent, sweetie. You just sit there and talk <laughs> and, and shut up. And I'm <laughs> she, that's where you got me twisted at. She want to be the boss that, and that, control everything. Yeah, hold on. It's no. my show. See, this is where we we <laughs> we sometimes can't work together. We can work together with his stuff. But when it comes to my stuff, because yeah, I want stuff certain complains ways. complains about everything. Nah, I, I just like stuff done right. Oh, the flower wasn't in the right direction. Nah, I, I, like stuff, I, I like stuff done right. And so for me, I know when it comes to my productions, I got to hire somebody. And so, Chris, that's why y'all podcast is not out because I she's told picky. Him. I told him. She's picky about I everything. I told him it got to be redone. The lighting and not, nah, it, it got to be redone. So I'm going to, in January, I'm going to hire somebody to basically do what I want them to do, not what they want to do. And the point is, and I told her that gets tricky because the person recording it owns the content. No, because I'm going to have my own cameras and we're going to have a contract that it's my content. Well, hopefully you get it right. But um, let's go back to um, healthy and unhealthy people and surrounding and the benefits of surrounding yourself around healthy people. Hold um, on. I just want to make a point, though. So tell the truth. You basically were asking me to get out the stuff because you were testing me. I wasn't. I wouldn't say testing you. What were you doing? I was just looking for a little help, baby. No, I was you keep saying that. Help, no, you baby. wasn't doing it. I was. That's all I was. I, I just wanted, can we be I just real? felt like I wanted a little help because no. it's like, can we be honest? You'd be like, oh, let's do a podcast. Can we be then honest? You want me to set up everything. You were trying to prove a point. This. I got to Were you this. trying to prove a no, point? No, I wasn't. I just was looking for a little help. <laughs> You're such a liar. You're you such know? a liar. I was just looking just for a little help. Just prove a point that you were trying to test me. I was just looking for some little help. That's all. All the, I just. All and right, so we looking it. for a little help? That's all I was. Okay, I'm about to put it on Dubs. This whole... Oh, that's fine. Oh, I'm going to need a lot of little I help. I was just looking for a little okay. help. You did? Oh, bad. can you put them clothes up? What clothes? They were your clothes. My... <laughs> <laughs> like, they were your clothes. I always put your clothes up. Exactly. Hold on, that don't you even was, make sense. You was looking for a little that help. Even... You was looking for a little help that and you got a little help. That don't even make sense. And yeah, you got a little One help. One time out of like 15 years, I you asked was... you to put your clothes up you that I looking, just washed. But, but you was You're looking better... for a little help and you got a little help. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's sense. my point I was making. No. Give me a little help and I asked for a little help. 
Every time. So let's go to the healthy um situation at the help workplace. We could let's talk to um healthy situation. How do you avoid like say because I used to work out of this one place, man. It's always you get that one bad seed. Once you get a bad seed in a company, they could spoil everything. And if you being a positive and healthy person, how do you avoid that bad seed in a work environment? Hmm? That one negative person that's always bitching, complaining about everything. Is this your coworker? Yes. Yeah, you got a coworker. Avoid how, them. You know what I'm saying? But how do you avoid that, that coworker? You know what I'm saying? It's, it's in, especially when you got a, it's a small company. If you got a big company, you work at a big warehouse, it's easy. Talk like, to them as needed. Like, Daryl, shut the fuck up and move on. But No, like, I just think you engage with people in companies. I've always had, like, my people, which was maybe one or two people that I really talked to, talked to. And then, I mean, I was nice and always cordial, but I talked to you as needed. Like yes. there, I don't believe in, if I work somewhere that I have to basically be engage your friend. You. I engage with you as needed. If we have to converse based on a collaboration or something we're doing, great. Outside of that, there's really no reason for us to have a conversation. So basically, it's not nothing wrong just to cut the conversation short. I mean, somebody constantly no. being negative, like, okay, dude, move on. Or you could, honestly, I just believe in removing yourself. I remember when I worked at the, oh my God, West Valley Jail. When I say the most toxic, it's crazy. Um, And there were conversations that I would go on. And honestly, I would just, because we're all in the room, the deputies, the therapists, nurse, whatever. And there's conversations in, nah, we all in the same room, but I don't have to engage. True. So, so why you in? But, but I'm saying you don't have to engage. But but hear, I could walk out. But hearing this, getting fed into I can your go ears, to, and what I would do is I would get my stuff and do my notes in another room with the the MPs, the nurse practitioners. I would go to a whole other room. So basically, remove yourself from the situation. Right. Y'all take notes on that one. So if you're in a uh, a healthy, unhealthy person at the workplace, you don't have to be bothered with their their point of views. Tell them to shut the fuck up and move on. You cannot tell them to shut the F up. I do. At my job. I don't know. You, shit, it's your co-worker. Why you can't tell them to shut the fuck up? Because that's rude. Uh, no, I think putting your negative energy on somebody is rude. No, and that's the point. We, of people, no, 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 like, no, no. Because they they have that. the right to say whatever they want to. You and can't tell right somebody to, tell to shut, shut the F, F up. up. No, you How cannot say shut the F up. How they have the right to say what they want? I don't have the right to say what I want. You cannot just you tell could. somebody to shut the F up. Because if you bring but that no, negative be, shit to me, I have the right to tell you. What you know, you can I, say I don't want to hear it, or you can walk nah, away. But that, shut the f up. That's yes, a bit extreme. Could. That's yes, rude. It's, that's it's, rude. It's, that's it's rude. To your it's point, rude. It's, it's rude, rude to bring rude. your negative energy to me. That's rude. That is rude. You know but there's a way to handle it too. I don't think you should just be telling people to shut the f up. I always believe a strong cuss word it, it really validates your point you're trying to give across. No, nah, always you, felt and that's unprofessional in the workplace to use profanity. Period. Shit, we co-workers, man. I can see I was the boss and telling my employees to shut the fuck up. That's a different story. But we co-workers, man, we peers. I just think shut that up, creates man. a negative. That 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 fuse or no, contributes that negative to the person negative. is bringing the negative. But to tell somebody to shut the f up, that's very hostile and it contributes to the negativity. Because if you tell me to shut the f up, like. You gonna shut the fuck up. Nah. You you're not gonna go back to that person no more. You're nah. gonna be like, I, I'm gonna at leave that point, I'm gonna leave Joe alone because no, that, that, that nigga that nigga rude. At that, that point, you have crossed the line of disrespect and now it's going to somewhere else. If you tell me to shut the F up, oh, yeah. that's disrespectful. Like I'm not gonna just that ain't gonna that ain't gonna just be shut that nah, it, it's not gonna end like that. Okay. Well, to all the people I told shut the fuck up, I apologize. Ooh. Um I didn't mean You really it. told somebody else? Yeah, I tell I, you know, yeah, the, the workplace, when I used to work, the warehouse and all that extra shit. Yeah. It's it's just I don't know. It's just a different vibe for guys. To I think it would be a little bit more fighting words to tell nah, somebody to you, shut the F up. Nah, we call a guy a bitch. That's fighting words. Like you a bitch nigga. Shut up. That's different. That B word, that's fighting words. You know what I'm saying? But you tell somebody, man, shut the fuck up. That's not That's so disrespectful. Nah, I, I would feel so disrespected if somebody to tell me to shut up, I would feel disrespected. Yeah. You you use it use a different working class. That's why. You didn't you you wasn't involved with hard labor and you know what I'm saying? You did that. I'm not a hard labor that, person. That inside that clerk, clerical shit. That's that office talk. You know what I'm saying? We be out in the field with it. That's a different talk. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, out I'm in not. the field like shit. 
So it's a different talk out there. So all the people that they feel I disrespect them, I apologize. It was they're not a, listening to it, you because you told them to shut. <laughs> <up>. <laughs> they're not listening to your podcast. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It was hard. It was a hard work day. Shit. You know what I'm saying? I need to have time to hear your. Yeah, you I think that's about the so company. rude. But um, yeah. So I guess that's that's really sum it up, man. You just watch who you want to spend your time with and the energy you want to be around. And you could pick and choose the energy you want to be around. You know what I'm saying? People, you could just walk away. I do that a lot. People be in there like we at certain events and stuff. People, I just walk away. I don't want to hear this shit. He's annoying. <laughs> like, and, but shit. but he doesn't. But it'd be so. And it could be one on one, and I could just turn and walk away. He'd like, be so. I'd be so embarrassed. <laughs> oh shit. Um, he does that a lot. Like if somebody's talking about stuff he don't care about. And then, I ain't going to say who they are, but people will call him about other people and he'll just get quiet. And I'm like, I know they got to be knowing that you like not saying you don't want to hear it, but pretty much you saying you don't want to hear it. Or he'll just abruptly change the subject. I'll be like, dang. And I don't think that's rude. It's just I'm protecting. I don't, don't want to hear this But I will shit. say, like, come on, man. you are a man the type like you ain't with the gossip and stuff like even like in the past if i'll be he'd be like i don't want to hear that and i'll be like oh because it's pointless and it's just is to me it's draining you know what i'm saying it's oh he like, gets pissed off when it, people it really if somebody called me <laughs> i'll be in well you don't do it when we was younger he'd be in the background tell him to get off the phone tell him you know what i'm like I'll be trying to walk away and, and like cover up the phone tell him why are they calling you i'm like dude shut up because the thing with people don't understand me, I really protect my peace because I have a problem with overdoing shit. Like if I get mad, I really go to the extreme. So I'll be I'm very cautious on what gets fed into me and I really protect my peace because I do make bad decisions when I'm angry. And that's one of the reasons why I really don't let a lot of stuff get fed into me because and you could, you could agree. I, I, I'm very, I, 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 what they call it. I just, I don't think about shit. I just react. Cap. You know what I'm saying? You saying I'm capping. I just, <laughs> I don't react to certain shit. I don't. I'm just playing. Well, the viewers don't think you playing. They run over this nigga capping. Oh, well, you, said. you do stuff like that all the time to me. And then when I tell you the viewers don't know, so it, they can think what they want to think. Well, I'm saying, yeah, I over, I overreact and sometimes. Uh, it's the word. They're not viewers; they're listeners. You say the word. I, what's the word you always say? Um, what you react? How I just I uh, impulse. Um, You're very impulsive. I'm very impulsive, and I will be making wrong decisions. You know what I'm saying? Even with the fact, it's Cindy and Oak. She because half of the shit they don't bring to me because you know how I react. Oh, there's a lot of stuff I tell yeah. my kids. Do not tell him. And I, and the thing is, is I, I make dumb decisions. I ain't gonna lie. When I'm angry. I think you only make those decisions when you feel like you have to protect. Yeah. So it's like, and that's why I'm very protective with my peace and don't like to get stuff fed into me because when I'm angry, I don't make clear, conscious decisions. And it's been proven several times. I got to go back and apologize. <laughs> <laughs> We can close out. We'll wrap it up because the viewers is tired listening to your ass anyway. <laughs> Why do you keep calling them viewers? They're listeners. Because I get it confused because I have viewers and listeners. He's you know what annoying. I'm saying? When you have He's them both, annoying. you get it confused. But since you're not a social media person, you don't have He's viewers. Annoying. So I have I have both. So I get them. Sorry, listeners. I get y'all mixed up with my viewers. And then I get my followers mixed up with some of my haters. It's It's all confusing. But one day, he I thinks break he's it down that guy, that. people. He thinks he's really that guy. That guy told me last night I'm that nigga. What are you talking about? Oh, what and, are you talking and, and about? When y'all talk to him where I'm public. He loves it. That nigga say he, I'm he that nigga. Hey, you, you that nigga. You over here looking like. I didn't even know this day was even talking to you, to be honest. <laughs> I was in my own conversation because that's one thing you will see about me. If we're ever out and you start talking to him, I will not engage, I will actually walk away. And I will engage with everybody, so y'all don't gotta be, you know, what I'm saying. I, I'm no, a very don't try to put it like that. It's I'm not that I person. won't engage. I'm not like one of those wives, like 
what they talking about. Yeah, yeah. that's you know not my personality. Yeah, I'm a, I'm very humble and I, I talk to the people that talk to me. You know what I'm saying? I'm not that that motherfucker thinking he's on cloud nine type shit. Especially if it's a man. Well, if it's a woman, it's different. But if it's a guy, Damn, like, you fucking up my beanie. Like, come on now. Like, can I get my <laughs> beanie? Are you 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 twisting it and, and twist? Like, damn. It's, it's like a stress ball. No, it's come on. Me feel good. Damn. Yeah. It's just a beanie. All right, on, on that note, we gotta close this up. She done stretched out my beanie. Like, no, oh I my didn't. goodness. Y'all can find that at grindfaceapparel.com. Get your own beanie. It's the winter time. It's hoodie season, baby. Hoodie season. Get grind face out, man. Grind face. Close this out, babe. Until next time. As I always say, continue to break cycles. Have a great day.